What's up everybody, it's Priyan Joni. So one of the obstacles that some people bring up when they're learning how to scratch that they come across is they are having trouble with making their scratch patterns or techniques that they're doing to sound continuous. They seem to get a couple of the techniques down, they got their chirps down, they have their babies, their forwards. However, they seem to not be able to put it together in a way where it just sounds fluid and continuous. For example, you might know how to do a baby and a forward, but when you put it to a beat, it might sound a little rigid. So what I'm gonna show you today is a technique that musicians use to improvise. And simply what it is, is to use one of the basic scratch techniques as a continuous foundation or a groove so that you have something there that you can connect all the scratch techniques that you know how to do. So that way you can start making all your scratch patterns sound more musical. And speaking of music, DJs, do you know where to get your music from? Direct Music Service. DMS is an online database for working DJs and mix artists. It's the one-stop shop where you can get your music from for your gigs. It's a searchable, organized database with thousands of edits, remixes, and different versions of your favorite tracks from many different genres. You can now save some money and get a discount using one of these two coupon codes. Use the code PJMONTHLY and get 30% off your first month off any monthly subscription. Use the coupon code PJ yearly and get 10% off your entire first year of any yearly subscription. Go to directmusicservice.com today to sign up. So one of the things about scratching is that it is a very improvisation based type of art form. The idea is not to be just reciting the techniques that you know how to do, but it's more about taking the techniques that you know how to do and throw them together and make them up as you go. It's not like classical music where you're simply reciting a piece. Scratching is a lot like jazz where you improvise, but in order to improvise, you have to know your scales. As a guitarist, I might know a couple licks here and there, but to move from one technique to another, I follow a scale. For me, I use the pentatonic scale a lot. It's probably the most overused scale in guitars. By following a scale, you can go from one technique and then just use the notes in the scale to travel to the next technique. In drums and percussion, that's known as the groove. It's basically just the backbeat that you continuously do. It's usually repetitive, but it fills in the gap between the fills, the break, the breakdown. And in scratching, you can treat certain scratches, certain basic scratches, the same way. Just using it as a groove, as a way to get from one technique to another. And what I think is the easiest one that you can do is to do 16th note chirp scratches. So what does that exactly mean? Say I have a bar of notes. One, two, three, four. All four of those is one bar. Within each one of those beat hits is a quarter note. One, two, three, four. Whenever I do a count of one, two, three, four, they're quarter notes. So if I were to chirp scratch one, two, three, four, it would sound like this. One, two, three, four. Now, if I wanted to do eighth notes, which is double time a quarter note, it would sound like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And like I said, the groove that I want you to get on is a 16th note. So it would be double that. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So let's practice real quick how to do a groove with 16 note chirp scratches. One, two, three, four. So it might seem a little boring at first, but just being able to keep on that rhythm, on that groove, kind of gets your hands 
an emotion where you're just riding on that very specific rhythm. Now with the chirp scratch, you can variate the velocity to give you a variation of notes and just color to the scratch. So let's bring this up. So how do I use those 16th note chirps as a foundation to jump into another scratch? Well, one of the scratch patterns that I've already talked about on my channel is the Joe Cooley scratch. And the base of that scratch, the foundation of the scratch is actually the chirp scratch. In fact, it's 16th note chirps. So let me show you how that goes. And if you want to know more about the Joe Cooley scratch, I have a video right here and I talked about it as the most important scratch style that you could learn. Now, you don't necessarily have to go into a Joe Cooley. You can use this foundational pattern as a way to get into a lot of different scratches. Let's say you want to go into a forward scratch. You can even use it to go into a transformer. And it's not just for basic and intermediate scratches. You can take this all the way up to open fader scratches. So you might be asking by now, why am I using the chirp scratch? Why not make it simple and use a baby scratch? Well, the reason is because the chirp scratch is basically just a baby scratch that sounds tighter and it keeps you in the groove, not just on the jog wheel or platter, but even on the crossfader. Because if I were to do the baby scratch as my foundational groove, it won't sound as clean. The chirp scratch actually keeps you on the fader and the platter so that you can alternate it as you go into uh, a more advanced scratch. Now, does it only have to be a chirp scratch to use as your groove? No, it does not. You can do this with just about any scratch pattern. So say I want to do it with a transformer and I'm going to use it as my foundation to go into a crab scratch. Basically, the groove you choose is just something you can do repetitively. And the scratch technique you do is sort of like how you would treat a scale if you're playing guitar or, or if you're playing piano. It's basically your home base to keep you in the music and to keep it flowing continuously. For really advanced scratchers, they use a lot of open fader as their home base, specifically the Orbis scratch, the two-click flare. But that's a video for later when I get better at my open fader scratches. But yeah, basically, if you're having trouble with keeping your scratch technique, your freestyle scratching to sound fluid, start by doing 16th 
note chirp scratches. And I would recommend doing a tempo between 90 to 100 BPM, something that's not too hard to maintain 16th note chirps. And here's something else. You heard me play that without a beat, but I'm pretty sure you can pick up on the tempo of how I was scratching. That's because the chirp scratch is creating a groove, a home base that you can always fall back to to keep the scratch going. Anyways, if you got any questions, comments, or anything to add about this lesson, please leave them in the comment section below. Would love to hear your thoughts, answer any questions, or learn anything new that I didn't cover in this video. I'm gonna leave some product links of the DJ MS7 and the 2CDJ 3000s down below. The links are gonna be from Zounds. They have one of the easiest payment plan programs to qualify for. So if you want some great deals on products or you're ready to pick these up today, be sure to use the links from Zounds. All right, if you like this video, please smash that like button. And if it's your first time here and you found this video useful, please click that subscribe button. And don't forget to click that little bell icon so you get a notification the next time I upload a video. And don't forget to add me on Twitch where I do my live stream mix shows at. I like to switch up the gear that I'm using. So if you wanna see the gear that I talk about in my YouTube videos in action, be sure to add me on Twitch. All right, really appreciate you for watching. Thanks, take care and stay healthy.